Okay, um, I'm Holly Shepard, and today I'm going to make pumpkin muffins. This is a recipe that my kids and my whole family, my mom makes them, my whole family really likes them. I have three small children. Will is eight, Maggie and Emma are twin girls, and they are five. And they think these are the best, so they'll be really excited that I'm making them. Um, they're easy. Another reason we like to make these. I've got some dry ingredients here and I have wet ingredients here and they're really basic. It, it's not very hard. A lot of times you'll have this in your in your cabinet um, as long as you have pumpkin. Again, really nutritionally good for the kids too. I don't mind them eating these for breakfast. They're not overly sweet. Um, and the dry ingredients here we have it's the recipe I'm going to double today. So we have four cups of Bisquick, one cup of sugar, and three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So really just three ingredients in the dry ingredients, which it's made a lot easier by the Bisquick, not having to mix those dry ingredients. And then the pumpkin pie spice has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, all mixed into the pumpkin pie spice. So three teaspoons of that and you've got all your seasoning in there. Okay, and then the liquid, and you do mix these separately and then put them together before you put them in the muffin tins. And then the muffin tins I have sprayed um, with some baking spray so that they won't stick. And then the wet ingredients are two slightly beaten eggs, four tablespoons of oil, one and a half cups of milk, and a can of can not a can, sorry, a cup of canned pumpkin. So you could possibly get, I'm making two, it'll make 24 muffins, you could possibly get one, you could triple the recipe and get one more pan at least out of it. I think sometimes my mom gets four, but you're really scraping the bottom of the pumpkin to get the four out of the one can. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And just remember not to over beat or over mix this because I've been told that it's okay if it's still a little lumpy and if it's over mixed I don't think it will rise correctly. So I learned that in junior high from Miss Ryan. All right and it, this is filling up my mixing bowl pretty much. And the oven needs to be at 400. You probably should turn that on before you start measuring your ingredients because that's pretty high. It's 400 for about 15 minutes. But you check because I originally had 20, 20 minutes on my card and they got a little bit overdone. So it just depending on your oven and the kinds of pans you're using, um, it could be a little little bit more, but 15 minutes works for me. Okay, and another tip from my home ec teacher was to fill the cups about two-thirds full. I do my best, and and I try and stretch it out to make sure it all lasts, so it might not all be two-thirds cup full at the beginning. But these these muffins are really good for um, freezing. You can freeze them as well. And then my mom does that a lot and just gets them out like on Christmas morning. Mm. And we've even taken the kids on a car trip, gotten up really early and packed the pumpkin muffins. You can eat them warm with butter or you can just eat them. Sometimes the kids will just eat them plain as they are for an after school snack. So, they're a pretty hot commodity at our house. When we the oven is at 400, um, it's ready to go. I'm gonna slip both of these in there and cook them for just about 15 minutes and then I'll check on them. So, it all worked out just right. I got 24 exactly. All right, uh, we're gonna the timer went off, we're going to check them, they look pretty good. That was right at 15 minutes. Mm. So, I will use a little cake tester and uh, just see that they're done all the way through. These are in a little bit shallower, wider opening, so I think for sure they're done. These might not be.
looks pretty clean and I'd rather them be a little underdone than overdone. That'll keep them more moist. And they smell really good. Um, I'll get a butter knife and just go around each one of them and loosen them a little bit before I take them out. I'm not really picky about having to let them cool on a rack or anything. Um, a lot of times I'll just let them cool kind of in the pan if they're not overdone or on a plate. And a lot of times if my kids are home, they'll be wanting one pretty quick, especially when they're warm, they are really good um, with a little butter. They smell wonderful. So we're German, so butter, butter goes on everything. All right. <laughs>